My dad left me a legacy. No, not a vast estate or a secret family business empire. What I inherited was a slightly less common, yet arguably more sentimental, collection of cassette tapes. That's right, folks, a treasure trove of plastic rectangles with two little holes in them. Remember those? If you don't, then congratulations. You're probably still in your 20s, and you've never experienced the heartbreak of the ribbon monster that eats your favorite track. Lucky you, as someone with a dad who never quite got the hang of streaming or the cloud, I found myself in possession of enough cassette tapes to rival a defunct blockbuster music. There was everything from Bon Jovi to Janet Jackson to a strangely extensive collection of Kenny G's smooth jazz classics. Thanks, Dad. This collection couldn't just gather dust in the attic next to my old Pokemon cards and embarrassing middle school photos. No, I needed a way to honor the legacy of this cassette hoard while not feeling like I was living in a scene from that 70s show. Enter the Ion Retro Glow Boombox. Because Spotify was getting too predictable, that's when I stumbled upon the Ion Retro Glow Boombox. I'm not saying it was love at first sight, but I am saying that the pastel lights and the massive speakers reminded me of something my dad would have shown off at a backyard barbecue in 1986. And let's be honest, there's something odd appealing about carrying a box the size of a microwave and pretending like your shoulder can handle the weight. Spoiler alert, it can't. The retro glow boom box looked like it had come straight from a time machine. The design screamed throwback party, you know, the kind where everyone's wearing neon scrunchies and fanny packs. It's both a tribute to the past and an upgraded piece of tech for the modern era. With Bluetooth, AM, FM radio, and, of course, a cassette player, it felt like the boombox was sending out a loud, glowing invitation. Hey, millennials, come relive your childhood. And because I never miss an opportunity for nostalgia, I couldn't resist. The boombox for the modern man, unpacking the retro glow was like watching an episode of Stranger Things. All the vibes but less monster mayhem. This thing is a beauty. The black casing and chrome speaker grills give it a bit of an edgy look. And the rainbow light bars running along the front, pure serotonin, imagine an old school jukebox but in boombox form, and it's not asking you for loose change to hear living out a prayer. As I plugged in the power cord, the light bars lit up in neon hues that screamed dance floor. I could almost hear my dad in my head going, now that's a piece of kit. Dad never explained what a piece of kit actually was, but he seemed to be in constant search of one, so I felt like I'd done him proud. Despite its retro looks, the retro glow is surprisingly tech savvy. This boombox has Bluetooth connectivity, allowing me to stream Spotify whenever I run out of the willpower to rewind cassettes manually. You know, because fingers and pencils only have so much patience. But as much as I appreciate the ease of Bluetooth, let's be real, I bought this bad boy to play the dozens of cassettes collecting dust in my dad's old music closet. It's cassette time, the good, the warped, and the slightly chewed. Sliding that first cassette into the ion retro glow felt like stepping back in time. There was something almost ritual about it, the gentle push, the click as the cassette settled in, and then the waiting. With the tape play, with the boombox chewed up, was I about to hear old commercials for Coors Light? Life is full of mysteries. As the tape began to spin, the speakers released a glorious, slightly warbled rendition of Sweet Child O' Mine. My heart swelled, the bass was punchy, and the treble was clear enough to make Slash's solo sound like it was happening in the corner of my living room. The built-in speakers didn't sound like the speaker on my phone that I had been using for years to play music. I felt a connection, a real, tangible connection, to the past. Or maybe it was just the cassette rewinding. But the point is, I was feeling things. Here's the kicker. Despite its retro roots, the sound quality of the Ion Retro Glow isn't stuck in the 80s. It's solid, definitely not audiophile level, but better than you'd expect from something that looks like it should be selling tickets to break into Electric Boogaloo. The cassette player played without the kind of distortion that typically sounds like a robot trying to sing karaoke after several shots of tequila. No robot karaoke here, just pure nostalgia. Bonus features, the bells, whistles, and slightly bizarre radio hosts. I wasn't expecting much from the radio feature. I figured radio had died along with AOL dial-up and Blockbuster stock price, but after popping up the retro-looking antenna, I was pleasantly surprised to pick up an assortment of local stations. This included a DJ who seemed to be having a full-blown conversation with a very enthusiastic cat. I don't know what drugs they're handing out at that station, but I want to be included for those times when I'm not feeling like digging through cassettes or listening to radio hosts imitate felines. There's the Bluetooth function. Connecting my phone took all of 20 seconds, and suddenly I had the ability to play my current playlists or queue up that podcast about alien abductions. I could switch effortlessly between Dad's mixtape and an awkward interview with a conspiracy theorist who lives in a remote part of New Mexico. Variety, folks, variety. Portability and power, the boombox workout. Carrying this thing around is like doing a bicep curl every five steps. And sure, I could leave it on a table like a sane person, 
But where's the fun in that? The Ion Retro Glow comes with a carrying handle that makes you want to relive that classic boombox on your shoulder pose. Will you look cool doing it? No, not unless you're Dwayne The Rock Johnson, which sadly I am not, but there's something about the weight and size of this thing that feels comforting. Like a big, boxy security blanket of sound for power, you can plug it in or run it on a set of batteries. Because I am a rebel and also apparently hate the planet, I chose the batteries. Battery life is decent. But after an hour of walking around like I'm auditioning for a Beastie Boys tribute band, I can feel the battery juice running out. The Ion Retro Glow goes through batteries faster than I go through boxes of Cheez-Its during a Stranger Things marathon. So I quickly decided to leave it plugged in whenever possible. Room for improvement. It's not all rainbow lights and roses. While I'm loving my boom Box. It's not without a few minor quirks. For one, the cassette door sometimes feels a little too flimsy. I'm not saying it's going to break on me, but it's giving off some strong I might break on you vibes. I'm treating it like I'm handling a Faberge, which, let's be real, is probably for the best given my track record with delicate electronics. In Let's Talk Lights, the glowing light bars are cool and all, but sometimes it feels like I'm at a rave I didn't agree to attend. There's an option to turn them off. But who buys something called the Retro Glow and turns off the glow? That's like buying a lava lamp and only using it for reading. Final thoughts, a glowing recommendation. All in all, the Ion Retro Glow boombox has exceeded my expectations. It's not just a boombox, it's a time machine, a throwback party in a box, and an excuse to avoid adulting by rediscovering music the old school way. It has helped me reappreciate my dad's cassette collection, adding new memories to the old ones. I'm hearing tracks I forgot about, and each cassette feels like a little time capsule. Also, I've come to realize that there are only so many times you can listen to Kenny G before you start to question the trajectory of your life. Sorry, Dad. For those of you who didn't have the joy of growing up with cassette tapes, you'll still enjoy this for the Bluetooth and speaker quality alone. And for those of you who remember rewinding with a pencil and losing half your favorite mix to the dreaded tape tangle, this one's for you. Sure, the lights can get a little rave tastic, and the cassette door could use a little more oomph, but overall, the Ion Retro Glow has more than delivered on its promises. In a world of sleek tech, wireless buds, and Spotify algorithms, it's refreshing to see something with some personality. Something that says, hey, why not take a walk down memory lane while holding a neon lit boombox and pretending you're cooler than you actually are? Because that's what nostalgia is all about, right? Rediscovering the past, one mixtape at a time. If you haven't already subscribed, and enjoy today's video. Do it now so you know when the next video is uploaded. Thanks for watching.